This is my iPad mini and I've had it for the last couple weeks and I love it. The problem is I still haven't found a case I absolutely love for it. Until I think now, this might be it. This is the SpyGen liquid air folio and I've been waiting for SpyGen to drop some cases for the iPad mini and they recently did but it still has been a little bit hard to get these cases just because you know all the issues with supply chain that their shipping dates are all slipped out but uh, I'm excited to try this out to see exactly what it feels like in the hand and if this is finally the case I might be happy with so let me go ahead pull this out of here so right when I open the case it is a quite a different um, texture on the front it doesn't look like a lot of the other cases do, even though it might like on camera, it's looking like it. There's a really defined texture. I don't know if the camera is gonna do a good job of picking it up. I'm just gonna give you guys um, kind of a couple of angles. Hopefully the light will catch it. Um, so it, it does look pretty good. When I open it up, the back is a hard plastic cover and there is protection on the sides, uh, bottom, uh, but there is a open slot for, of course, that Apple Pencil as well. So the corners are protected. And this is, of course, one of the trifold cases, so you know you can use it to type or have it stand up. So let me go ahead, put my iPad Mini in here, and show you guys what it looks like. Another thing is that this is a translucent case, so it, um, while it's not completely darked out, it does slightly let the color in. Now, if you have a darker color, if you buy the darker color of this one, obviously, you know, it's going to look a little dark, but. I, I do like the look of it. So on the side, you guys can see it's open. Bottom, just the cutout for the speaker grills and the USB-C port. Uh, this side is pretty much fully covered and the top is pretty much fully covered except for that power button just because also it does have that fingerprint scanner. The volume buttons are covered, which is nice. It's a nice touch. So I think protection wise, this does a pretty good job. Uh, of course, you got that magnetic fold on the back. It is a decent magnet, so I, um, it's not the strongest in the world, but it's not weak by any standards either. So I think I'm happy with that. Um, otherwise, you know, I'm so far liking this case, you know, just with the iPad mini in general, cases do kind of tip over when you hit it on the top, but it's fine. It doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary. Let me go ahead and just see what it feels like. Otherwise, let me try to flip it over like this and into the type mode. That's nice, that's nice. So there are uh, significantly raised edges as well. Uh, I have a tempered glass screen protector and it comes above my tempered glass screen protector. So um, if you don't have a screen protector, this case will do a pretty good job of making sure that the even the front flap doesn't rest on your screen. So that's a good thing. It'll, it'll make sure that uh, you're not pressing dirt against it directly if there is ever kind of anything caught in this felt-like material. This is a felt material. It does look pretty decent. Um, now, I will say it's not as high quality as Apple's own folio, but given the cost of that versus the cost of this, which is $30, um, I think that's a okay compromise to make. So this is what the back looks like. You do have that kind of cover leading into the back. And I actually kind of like that, the look of this design. And just the whole, you know, black graphite uh, translucent color looks really good. The the front, the magnets on here are pretty good. It doesn't, uh, the, it doesn't fall off. So I do like that. A lot of cases seem to, you know, make those magnets a little bit too weak. Uh, another question, does it hold itself on the back? No, unfortunately not. So that is one thing that I did like about my, uh, Bokir case, which uh, I made a video on already that you were able to hold this to the back and it magnetically, um, held itself, which was a great touch. I did really like that. Um, that's the one thing I really, really want in the case. So I think, um, even with this, my search might just continue because that's a very important factor for me. I do like to have it open, you know, and close like this so I can use it without having to worry about it, you know, sliding off if it's in my left arm, you know, just kind of going like this and staying like that. It does feel a little bit annoying. Um, it is slightly ish magnetic, like on the very, very bottom, like faintly magnetic. Hang on. If I like press it, it kind of sticks, but it's really just not that powerful. Um, I wouldn't really trust it. So that's one thing I'm not happy with, but otherwise protection wise, design wise, even weight, you know, it doesn't really add a lot of bulk to the iPad mini. It does feel quite compact. The thickness, it doesn't really add too much thickness either to the iPad mini. All in all, I, I do like this case. So if you guys are looking for the SpyGen Liquid Air Folio, I think it's a good bet for the iPad mini six. Just do remember that uh, 
While the front magnet is strong here, it doesn't hold itself back on the magnet here. Uh, but otherwise, the kind of standing position, uh, the even sitting position here, the, the type position, it's a pretty good, um, it's a strong thing and it really won't have too many problems. Even if I do kind of press it in and it moves out, it snaps right back in magnetically. So overall, good case. If you want to check this out, I'll have it linked down in the description below, along with a bunch of other iPad mini cases and case videos that I've already made. So if you want to check those out, be sure to do that down in the description below. And if you haven't already, be sure to follow me on social media. I'll have all the handles right here on the screen. And of course, link down in the description as well. Go check me out over there. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more iPad mini content coming your way. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Oh